So that wait, as Tommy was saying, finally over. It is two minutes after eight o'clock. It's the build-up. It's been weeks. It's been months. Uh, not just getting ready for the metric exams, writing those exams, then waiting for the results. Last night, Basic Education Minister Angie Motsecha uh, announcing that pass rate. Uh, a very, very big well done to the entire class of 2023. In case you missed the number, uh, here it is for you. 82.9% overall pass rate. It's a slight increase uh, from 2022 as well. It's going to be a very exciting morning. Uh, Tami and Gobeni, let's come back to you uh, and we're going to be, I'm sure, hearing from the principals, from the top achievers. It's, it's been such a long wait for them. The stress is over. I can see, I can imagine the relief uh, from all the matriculants that will be getting their results in just a few moments. Oh, certainly it's, uh, the countdown has certainly begun, uh, Gareth. We always talk about the learners, we always talk about the pupils um, and how they might be feeling, uh, but you know that the amount of work that goes into making sure that they're ready is just indescribable. Yes, there are the teachers and then there are the headmasters and the headmistresses. I'm here uh, with uh, Munir Boysen and he is the headmaster for World School uh, Randberg. Uh, Munir, I believe that you have had a good 100% pass rate at the school for, for quite a while. Um, how long exactly? It's been five years that we've uh, had a 100% pass rate and uh, we're very thankful for that. Do you think you're meeting that again this year? We did. We got 100% this year. All of them passed, and uh, we're very, very, very thankful for that. 